Alright, welcome back to a survivor. We're on episode eight now. Alright, let's let's get going. To wherever we need to go. I it's like a camp or something. Oh, okay. Alright. We got here. Alright, perfect. Oh, Max well, Stimps increase. We survived our first storm together. Yes, we did. I'm glad we got to see each other again. How long are you staying on Jeddah? I don't know. But I decided to Greece. How is he these days? Not bad. He opened up a cantina, Hyloon Saloon. He named it after his great grandma. Nothing's more important to Greece than family. Boy, how. No, I didn't want. I didn't want to do that. Oh my god! Oh, that that'll probably be better, would not it? There we go. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, what's that? told me everything. You have demonstrated great bravery and wisdom in the face of overwhelming adversity. You chose well? Well, <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> the Empire has claimed the ruins. We'll have to find another rendezvous point. Unfortunate. But at least the storm covered your tracks. Come. Come, let me escort you inside. Master Cordova, did you find the Zepho? Only faint traces of their passage, heading deep into the unknown regions. Sorry to hear that. As it goes. Ultimately, that failure inspired me to seek out other Jedi survivors. That search led me back to my old apprentice. How have you been faring, Cal? That doesn't sound good. I've had a few scrapes, but I'm still breathing. And I'm glad for it. I heard some news about a Jedi terrorist on Coruscant not long ago. You were on Coruscant? Uh... Well, the Mantis looks like it's in better days. You should see the other guys. Space is well hidden. Yes. Well, the Empire's presence has grown these past years. They are much too strong to fight directly, but we do what we can. Coming, Cal. It is critical, of course, that our work remains secret. What work exactly? Better to ask Seer yourself. Meanwhile, Marin and I will greet our new arrivals. So, how was the desert? Cold, stormy, and too many Imperials. Mm, not my preferred weather forecast. But more common by the day. Where did you weather the storm? A cave past the old market. Our Spamel friend showed us the way. You have a habit for making new friends wherever you go. A survival instinct, perhaps. I intercepted some Imperial communications. Your reputation is growing. 
Was there fear in their voices? Quite a bit, yes. Good. How are you feeling? Better. The tea you brought me was wonderful. Can't use this lift yet. Reeves must be in the kitchen. We'll meet up with him later. Master Cordova and I will wait for Grease. Go speak with Sir. trying. It's not like Brother Armai has to break contact. Cal Kestis. Welcome to Jeddah. I knew the storm wouldn't deter you. You're rebuilding the temple archives. We're trying. As long as this knowledge remains, the legacy of the Jedi survives. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. But something tells me there's more to this than just hollow books. Yes. We're a part of a network known as the Hidden Path. We provide safe passage and new identities to those who have been persecuted by the Empire. Hunted by the Empire, like. like Jedi survivors? Very few of us remain. But yes. And for sensitives and those who help them. What didn't you tell me? <laughs> you never asked. Besides, I hear you've been busy making yourself the Empire's most wanted. I wanted to prove to the galaxy that the Empire isn't invulnerable. That you can resist. That you have to fight if things are gonna get better. And then they just listen to the propaganda and they pretend they're free anyways. Hmm. Yeah. You chose a hard path. And it hasn't made a difference. Well, while the Empire's trained its eyes on you, we've been able to build the network, find allies, and save lives. When you left, you'd just given up. Was wrong. Cal, you were just a child when they sent you off to war. You know, there was a time when I remember that the Jedi were more than just weapons. But we both have our roles to play in this struggle. But that's why I'm here. See her. Well, you get a load of this! Hey, Seer, you can't say it ain't short of personality, <laughs> but kind of creepy, though. <laughs> well, it's good to see you two agree. <laughs> well, hello, B.D. Okay, okay, okay. 
So, how was your time in the desert? The storm covered our tracks, but the Empire destroyed one of your speeders. It's a small price to pay for everybody's safe arrival. And who's this? This is Bodokuna. He is a friend. It's so nice to finally meet you. Uh, it's hunk of trouble! <laughs> hey! We're all together! Huh? Yes. Now, what brings you all to Jeddah? We're searching for a lost planet. Tantalor, you ever heard of it? It's on the other side of a deadly nebula called the Kobo Abyss. Well, our archives are far from complete, but I'm sure Master Cordova's up to the task. With pleasure. The trouble is, we're not the only ones looking for this place. I knew this was sounding too easy. The guy's name is Dagon Gera. He was a Jedi. Now he leads a band of raiders on the Outer Rim. There's an old temple there. Dagon intends to reclaim it. A Jedi temple out of the reach of the Empire could mean that there's information there that we don't have in the archive. I believe I have something. <laughs> Oh, you're too kind, BD. <laughs> I'll start with the bad news. Well, boy, this guy knows his audience. <sighs> I found no information related to crossing the Kobo Abyss. However, I found two mentions of this Dagon Gera. He had a retreat on Kobo, and records show him frequently visiting a laboratory on its moon. Okay, we'll check him out. If you find anything, bring it to me. I am happy to assist further. Thank you. Both of you. You're welcome, Cal. I hope you find what you're searching for. May the Force be with you. And with you. Escort you back to the Mantis. So oh, shit. Not okay. joining us. I cannot. Uh, oh, yeah. since I started freelancing. It's gotten me out of some bad situations, and I figured it might do the same for you. It's Marin, right? Well, I could get another one, if you think you might want No need. Both. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're good. Okay. My master always frowned upon using blasters. You once said it wasn't the weapon that makes you a Jedi. <laughs> It's us against the galaxy, Cal. We've got to use every advantage we can find against the Empire. Thanks, Bode. Alright, I believe that's... Uh... Oh. Yeah, I believe that's a uh, this... Which planet next?
I mean, we haven't gone to... Chest Moon yet. I, you know what? Short episode, but it's only right to start a new video in Planet Peace Peace.